There are 70 brawlers in the game now and each one is different with their traits. That's why each one of them is known for something very pathetic too. Today I'll talk about 5 of such brawlers and what they are known for. So let's start with the first brawler that is El Primo. El Primo aka the fidget spinner. This one should be pretty obvious for you guys. El Primo is the biggest steamer of all time. You know about it if you are a solo showdown player. This brawler has only one goal. It is to be the fastest spinning fidget spinner of all time. Because it is the only way he can make friends, whom he will betray very soon. But yeah, my assumption is Primo players may look chad but they actually are very depressed, sensitive and mentally unstable. They don't have real life friends so they decide to team in the game for temporary comfort. It's pretty creepy if you ask me. Coming up we have Dinah the military boomer. Someone who doesn't play Brawl Stars can't even imagine what a menace this brawler is. He looks like an old weak man who needs a wheelchair soon but little do they know how destructive this old man is. He feels like a professionally trained military man back from World War II who knows how to annihilate the battlefield but only at one condition. He must be in the opposite team because the Dinah in our team is absolutely pathetic and retard who misses all the shots and throws the whole game. Isn't it relatable? Next is Fang, the Stuck Step Bro. Yeah, you might have heard about Stuck Step Sisters but Fang, oh boy, help me, I'm stuck. You camp the whole match charging your super and creating too much pressure on your team in a hope that you will change the game by making an insane play. Your teammates are angry, showing thumbs down and angry pins and then it creates the pressure back on you and the moment you use your super, you get stuck on the wall at the absolute and most crucial moment in the game and then die. Your team loses the match and hopes to never see you again. Next up, we have Rico the wall lover. Yeah. Apart from simping for Piper and making out with a vending machine, Rico has one more job to do. It is to shoot on the walls. No matter what the situation is, no matter what the skill level is, you always have to shoot the walls first even though the enemy is right in front of you. This is why there is a game mode situation for Rico that can turn into a living nightmare for him and that is Brawl Ball in Overtime. Without the walls, Rico loses his will to fight because he serves no purpose in the game now. Walls are gone, so Rico is gone too. I feel bad for Rico. At number 5, we have Edgar the Toxic Kid. This brawler is usually played by kids ranging from 7 year olds to 12 year olds, and their whole purpose is to sit inside the bushes, camp for a whole eternity to charge their super just to jump on a shelly and get supered on their face. And then comes the toxic part, the thumbs down pin. And not just that, there's an angry pin too. The whole process of charging super, dying and showing the toxic emotes keep on repeating until you lose the match. These kids will never agree to the point that Edgar is not the best brawler in the game. In fact, they will go under immense depression if someone told them that Edgar is actually one of the worst brawlers in the game. <sighs> I think it's too much for today guys. Thank you for watching and let me know if you want a part 2 of this video. Bye bye.